you see, like I'm telling you, when this thing started, mostly women messaged me. Okay, thousands. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, three Please. marriage proposals. I'm gonna kill proposals. someone. Three marriage proposals also, by the way. Yeah, of course. That's how it is. That's how it is in public. Marry me now. Let's get married. Let's get married and not have kids. Yes, I want this. This is what I wanted. That's how it is. And that too with the ugly beard. Imagine if I show my face. Or come on. Antinatalism in general is closer to the fact that people are suffering no matter what. I mean, even if you don't suffer, okay, let's say you had a great life, no sickness and all, you're still going to grow old, you're still going to die, you're still going to feel some kind of pain, okay, uh, at some level you're going to feel exploited, something is always going to happen, even if everything is great. So, uh, like the scriptures have said, life is essentially a zero sum game, physical life. the way we live now the way we do or at any point of time there was always a great amount of pain so that is what antinatalism is trying to say that you don't have to go through this pain it is all unnecessary I can prove that someone who's had a good life like me, that life itself is a problem. Then what about someone who's actually experienced suffering? Can they sue? Can they say that you know this is wrong? Basically. So right now there are no consequences to giving birth. I want there to be consequences. Do you want to gamble with life? That is my question. Because it is a gamble. Everything is gamble. And the only problem I have with uh, giving birth is that you are taking the gamble for someone else. The kid has not decided that I want to gamble. Karna hai. You know. We don't know what is the lifespan of the child, but the child is going to die anyway. Knowing that the child, your child is going to die, you're going, you're giving birth to a child. It's, it's as good as committing murder. You know that something is going to die, but still you want to bring, bring it to the world. This is 90% of Indians who think like that. Neighbor, who are you? You know, they, they just yeah, walk in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just run like horses. Ah. They don't know what is going on. So they are like, okay, someone has said, we have to study, 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 we have to study. Correct. I mean, And बाकी बाकी सब ठीक है तू robot है ठीक है बच्चे को क्यों पैदा करो That's not a step That is a human being You know you must consider it one The question is like how do you बच्चे को अपने लिए पैदा करते हो देखा जाए My name is Rafael I'm 27 I run a small business and basically I believe in antinatalism The idea is that Giving birth itself has a negative value. It's wrong. It's morally wrong more than anything, because of the world that we live in, because of the circumstances that we live in, and how the world works. Uh, I I have a simple question to ask when it comes to antenatalism. Why do you want to see your child suffering? Because the child will suffer, and everyone suffers throughout the generations. You have a lot of uh, philosophers of the past, a lot of people thinking about this. You have uh, religious texts. saying talking about antinatalism but apparently the way i put it uh, saying that you know i'm going to sue my parents for uh, not taking my consent before having me that itself was apparently very shocking to people so that sort of that's that entire concept went viral because obviously it hit a raw nerve with many people if people are going to think uh, that i have issues with my parents and that you know there is there is more of a personal thing hmm. because they do not want to accept that they have also thought thought about it. they don't want to accept that uh, maybe their parents have also said it in some way or they have said it when they were teenagers in anger but didn't go deeper into that thought so there are it's basically denial and they are just saying you know you have issues you better see the shrink you better do this that's that's the uh, that's what the imp- that's the implication graduation kiya 3 4 saal yahi delhi university se lekin uske baad jab naukri dhoondne gaye to kahi mile nahi और एक तरह से बड़ी एक फ्रस्ट्रेशन रहती थी क्या करें ग्रेजुएशन हो गया कहाँ नौकरी मिलेगी एक दिन एक भाई साहब थे उन्होंने कहा यार ऐसा है गलती हमारी नहीं है गलती हमारे माता पिता की है और गलती ये है कि उन्होंने हमें पैदा क्यों किया यार दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम 
बाबू के सामने में गया कभी भी उनके सामने मैंने ऊंचे स्वर में बात नहीं की मैंने कहा आज मुझे पता चल गया है कि वजह क्या है इन सब बातों की आपने मुझे पैदा क्यों किया था बाबू जी शांत रहे तो मैंने देखा कि उन्होंने एक छोटी सी कविता लिख करके जो रात को मैंने उनसे कहा था उसके उत्तर में उन्होंने ये कविता लिखी उन्होंने लिखा कि जिंदगी और जमाने की कश्मकश से घबराकर मेरे बेटे मुझसे पूछते हैं कि हमें पैदा क्यों किया था जिंदगी और जमाने की कश्मकश से घबराकर मेरे बेटे मुझसे पूछते हैं कि हमें पैदा क्यों किया था और मेरे पास इसके सवाल कोई जवाब नहीं है कि मेरे बाप ने भी मुझसे बिना पूछे मुझे क्यों पैदा किया था और मेरे पास इसके सवाल कोई जवाब नहीं कि मेरे बाप ने भी मुझसे बिना पूछे मुझे क्यों पैदा किया था और मेरे बाप को उनके बाप ने बिना पूछे उन्हें और उनके बाबा को बिना पूछे उनके बाप ने उन्हें जिंदगी और जमाने की कश्मकश पहले भी थी आज भी है शायद ज्यादा कल भी होगी शायद और ज्यादा तुम ही नई लेख रखना अपने बेटों से पूछ कर उनको पैदा करना जीवनम दुखालय समथिंग लाइक दैट सो दे एवरी वन इज सेंग दैट लाइफ इज पेन ओके सो इट दैट द कॉन्सेप्ट हेज बिन अराउंड फॉर मिलेनिया इट्स जस्ट दैट यू नो इट्स नाउ इट्स कम टू इट्स कम टू दिस पब्लिक आई नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ द ऑब्वियस स्टेट दैट वी आर इन इट्स अ ह्यूज थिंग राइट नाउ लाइक देर आर अ लॉर्ड ऑफ ग्रुप्स ऑन फेसबुक ईच हैव सम फाइव सिक्स थाउजेंड टेन थाउजेंड मेम्बर्स and um like you know it's just a, it's basically a movement that was already gaining momentum uh, thank you all for coming and we decided we do something serious about child free uh, lifestyle let people more people know about it ideologically philosophically so yeah, philosophically and also politically in all angles that's why we have the so called first national meet and the end of the day we plan to achieve certain you know uh, agenda that we have uh, so you know come up with some objectives which we all agree uh, and also come up with an action plan how we go about doing this uh, in the rest of india yeah like I I just really want to spread awareness constantly, like you know, saying about it. Like we are normal human beings, we don't have problems, we don't have issues with our families or you know psychological problems or physical problems or anything. Yes, people who do want to reproduce. Humans have destroyed this world so much, and I believe like animals, if they like, leave this world to animals, at least they might uh, not destroy it. And yeah, that's it. I'm 17 years old. When I was 30 years old, in Bangalore, my friends started collecting money to send me to Bangalore. Called me back. He called. I decided to challenge the whole world. At that time, I started thinking, what we are doing now? Why do we human beings create more children in this world? To me, somebody is that thousand. Like any, like any parents, like any many people are your parents. Like they say, they want their you know children to be happy and they try their best to be. I mean, it's not possible. What I always felt. I still remember, like after a few years after this happened, I was like 18, 19 years. One day, I just, I just got angry on my mom. Mom was telling me, you know, try and be happy. There will be struggles in your life or not. And 
if you are happy, I am happy. And I am like, you know, didn't you know before giving birth to me that I have to go through this all these you know, struggles and everything? Life is not easy. It's not what I am saying that privileged people will have an easy life. Even privileged children also will be having their own problems, I would say. So that's secondary. Every person, but even after knowing that I have to go through all these sufferings, you gave birth to me. And now you are forcing me to be happy, to be optimistic. And I say, you know, the things what I say, people say, you are too pessimist. I mean, like, up towards life or not. And I'm like, why shouldn't I be? You know, make, trying to make me an optimistic is also a kind of pressure only you are putting on me. Why are you forcing me to be optimistic? No, ask I'm them, like, ask them do. why do they glorify suffering? Because yeah, yeah, Indians do. But yeah. My question, why I end up telling is, see, 90% of the life is struggle and suffering, 10% is happiness. Okay, I don't want for 10%, why should I give up all this entire life? I'm a forced to. Uh, see, they may put other fancy names to it. Like, I want to take my family name forward. But the truth is, they are searching for meaning. So, they do, it's a Ponzi scheme. Your children give you meaning and then their grandchildren give your children meaning. The role of a parent in a child's life is very simple. It, it, the parent should... First of all, not take the child for granted at all. They must respect the child, must learn to understand that the child is an individual. And you know, not and after they get married, not some baby producing machine or anything. No kind of machine. Not your education machine, not your dream machine, not anything. Child is an individual, it's a human being. It's not a step. Okay? And that they, they must respect and grow with the child if possible. People are thanking me for, you know, for having uh, got this concept. Either they were already thinking of it or either they were on the verge of it or at some point they were forced to give birth maybe. So you have current mothers also who are telling me this, that, you know, what you're doing is right. The basic concept is right. Maybe they don't agree with all of it. And of course, no one will agree with all of it. But they get different parts out of it. You, some people get the concept of adoption. Some people that they shouldn't do IVF. Uh, some others that you know they simply shouldn't get married so I'm like I am saying I'm neutral on marriage but whatever you get out of it good as long as you're not reproducing so uh, we're going two ways here how to either I'm going to sue them in court which I don't think is possible because the judge is not going to comprehend what I'm trying to say the other one is parental licensing so if we decide for parental licensing we're going for a PIN public interest litigation uh, where we are going to have a whole bunch of points including, you know, not giving, say, a job, a government job to someone with more than two kids. Because you have a precedent there. Okay, uh, licensing parents before they have children. Because nowadays anyone is having 10, 10 kids with no this. And it is a danger to the country. Uh, if I drive, okay, I'm putting someone's life in danger, my own life in danger, my passenger's life in danger. For that, I need a license. Great. Uh, for for voting also, I need a card. I just cannot go and vote, right? So for all these things, there is a license. Even adoption, there is a license. So my question is, why not parenting? You know, it's as simple as that. Because today, anyone can ha uh, have a child without consequence. It's a life-ruining, life-destroying and potentially killing act. Your child could become anything because of you. You know, uh, or maybe you're a pedophile and you had a child. So, there must be a licensing system. Parents must prove their worth to whatever, an authority, before they are allowed to have a child. Today, when I see, I have my cousins who are married I'm a, and I'm single. Yeah. So, it's like uh, people like the society and the family yeah, and really your pressure. Yeah. Pressuring, I should get married. Correct. But on the other hand, when I speak to my cousin, then she says, "I wish I was single like you." Right. So it's 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 a kind of a See, perception. People, like people every... are pressurizing you yeah. because they fear you. वो लोग को नहीं मालूम कि तेरे वो क्या तू नहीं करेगी, then they'll all fear you. Like shit, she's living the life I want. They don't want that. There's like lot of conflict about how do you relate yourself to such a uh, philosophy. This makes you want to have kids, you know? Right. That is what told me. No. Yeah, like you, you would, you would want to understand. Okay, okay. I now, I'm already in existence. I've already felt it. So now what? No, now what? I'll tell you very simply. Now what is see, is to take the responsibility of not creating another being that can feel pain. It's as simple as that. They are so scared. It's only fear. Uh, all these religions, all this concept of purpose, meaning, 
it's it's all fear because now what do we do and people genuinely don't have an idea what to do but they don't realize that they are always doing something and that is living you are always living no matter what you do everything else is secondary if you are always in the moment um you will never need a purpose purpose is when you are thinking about the future you're thinking about the past you're creating aggregations you're making calculations these are not required to truly enjoy life you just have to be in the moment and do what is required so there is no purpose the only you are here uh, the the there was there was there were conditions that were good for life in one part of the universe and life happened that's it it is just an expression of energies so it doesn't matter like there is no there is no purpose you know making a living has taken such an importance but it's not anyone makes a living you know someone you can always make a living it's when you want to live like someone else it's when you want to do something better when you're greedy that your life gets messed up and that's when you get obsessed with making a living but otherwise you can make a living and just live life do what you like free people minds that's that's my that's the best thing out cuz see i don't have problems in life i just have a problem with life so van scatters and the sea bird sings so why should we fear what travel brings what were we hoping to get out of this some kind of moment terry bliss i waited for something and something died So I waited for nothing nothing arrived